Hello once again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss one of these awesome travel videos. Mike Corey is here from Fearless and Far. He's an extreme adventure travel YouTuber and a television host of BBC's The Travel Show on BBC World News. And he joins us on the Zoom. Mike, it's good to meet you, man. This is awesome that you are here. Mike, it's good to be here. You know, there's a good chance you might not make it to your next interview based on what I'm seeing that you do for a living. Well, I, I have not been in one spot for so long in half a decade. So me, a traveler who tra usually travels 11 months out of the year, is now back at his glorious parents' house, who's now turned it into a travel shrine because obviously I can't leave the lifestyle. <laughs> all right. First of all, we have to talk about why do you do what you do? I, I mean, that to me, what makes you tick, man? You go to some of these festival you go to you capture some of these things and we're seeing some of it right now why do you do this right for myself i i've always been a curious kid and i always loved explaining things to people that were misunderstood and so in the beginning when i was a kid i was flipping over rocks explaining why a, a lizard or a centipede was actually really cool not so spooky after all and then eventually i matured into and do it with festivals and different events so you'll find me going to exploding hammer festivals or orange fights and a lot of different Things, eating some pretty funky stuff as well. But I just love, I love showing people how diverse the world is because at least for myself, I grew up in a very small town here in the East Coast of Canada. And I think some people, if they feel like they don't fit, it's because maybe they don't fit that well, or at least the lens, the lens that they've been given by growing up in a certain community or in any part of the world wasn't the best fit. But by traveling, you can pick up bits and pieces from around the world and craft your own lens. And then you can finally find your place in the world. And I love, I love talking about that and showing people some of the, the different extremes. Well, and this also begs the question of, are you truly living your best life? Yeah, well, I try anyway. I mean, not every day is a glorious day in the sun, obviously, when you're traveling that often. Even before the, the pandemic hit here, just uh, at the beginning of March, I'd gone to 10 countries already before that which is very difficult to get back into the country when they're like, where have you been in the past few months? And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> everywhere. And it was like Yemen, it was Yemen, it was Bangladesh, it was uh, Mauritania, these countries that generally don't get a lot of tourist traffic. Um, however, yeah, no, it, it, it's been good, man, but uh, it's been a definitely big change. Well, that being said, you also, it's safe to say, you do sort of live on the edge. Yeah, well, my travel style isn't for everybody. I like to have people live vicariously through me. But so my online alias is Fearless and Far. It's an Instagram page. It's a YouTube page. And I, I chose the name Fearless because, there were, listen, there's no person who was more fearful to speak publicly and to be in the spotlight than I was as a youngster. I was, I was had a traumatic experience. I was made fun of in front of a group of people. And I just grew up with anxiety attacks whenever I was even looked at by the teacher, for example. And now it's my lifestyle to, to be the center of attention, let's say, on television and on YouTube. And I, I'm very passionate about fear. And that's what keeps me going is because I think this is a feeling we should walk towards, not walk away. And if you use it as a, a compass in life, you can really become your best self. Dangerous and scary are two different things, though. I never promote doing things that are reckless, but I right. think a lot of things are just misunderstood. I mean, like driving. Driving is a crazy, dangerous thing we do all the time. We just don't understand the risk. Or it's like bungee jumping. People, I think, sensationalize the risk there. Uh, and well, so it's a bit of understanding what's, what, you know, what the real risk is. And again, we're using euphemisms here, you know, of course, which is fine. But somebody watching this interview and, and us just visiting about this, what do you say to people who do love to travel and they travel for their own reasons because we're all individuals about doing things that perhaps, you know, stretch their boundaries of their comfort zone? What do you tell them? Well, I think that's the whole point of travel. And maybe someone can argue against me, but isn't the whole point of travel to go see new places and experience new things? And I think one problem that I have, and again, maybe not everyone will agree with me, but there's this big trend of luxury travel happening right now to the point where, to the extent where I had somebody um, message me saying, I want to travel the world, but I can't afford to stay in resorts and I can't afford to you know, do all these like fly business and all these things they see travel influencers doing. And I was like, oh my Lord. Is that what travels become? I'm taking a cool Instagram photo. So if we can't sit on a beach with a Mai Tai and a beautiful girl in a bikini beside us, that's not travel. It's, it's, it's busted, man. And so for me, uh, backpacking, staying in hostels, couch surfing, these things that you're like, oh, okay, 
that that's that's the element that is that is the magic of travel because you come back home you're you're more flexible you you've experienced more you're more bulletproof to the stresses of life and i think that's the point well, i agree with that and, and of course we may not be seeking a shared experience but let's be real here when you attend a festival when you go to a certain place you are participating in a shared experience of whatever that is however you are experiencing it as an individual but it's up to you to decide what to do with that. Right, exactly, exactly, yeah. It's, it's one of the most powerful life-changing things in, in the entire world, the world is, and I think everyone should do it because you will make your life better if you do choose to push yourself, for sure. Will you come back and visit? You, you, you may be the most fascinating person I've talked to in the last hour. <laughs> yeah, well, I just try to show people things that they haven't seen before, and so far, so good. <laughs> and by all accounts, you will still be there, as I will still be here, probably, so in another month. So that's right. Here we go. Thank you for being here, my friend. Oh, my pleasure. Great to talk. We post brand new videos every day in travel at noon and 4 p.m. Eastern. So hit that subscribe button to remind you. And don't forget to like and share this video as well. Hey, watch another one while you're at it.